Yeah. So, so the idea of Hello VR is to show um, a, a video TV program within a virtual reality environment. And also, in addition to just showing the program, also to show the timeline, make a visual representation of the time of, of the, all through the program. You can imagine in using this, for example, during a documentary, you can have an overview of the entire uh, time through the documentary, and then you could navigate to the part you want to see uh, without scrolling back and forth, but seeing the entire program. You could also, another aspect that could be developed more would be also to use it for video editing or similar. So, and you, and I will just, uh, I will just start it and then you, uh, you, you will talk about the technology a bit. I talk, I will uh, talk about the tech, tech technical specs first. Uh, we wrote this application using Clojure script. Uh, 3JS library and web VR for Yola Play and HTML5 canvas. Yeah. Um, and, and apparently, which is something that always happens with demos, is that the, 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 the virtual reality display on the big screen didn't work. But I hope uh, most of you have, to have seen it in the room uh, with the virtual reality glasses. And the way it works is that you have in the middle you, you have the movie running, and then it just fills out the, the wall behind, behind it with, fra with frames through the movie. And then the idea in the long run, run would be that you could look at one frame and then click in the virtual reality, and then you could just jump around in, in the story. So you don't, didn't have to explore the movie or documentary linearly, but you could jump around into it, and you, if you, there were some parts you want, remember, remembered, there was some interesting here, then you could just jump back and see it. Um, and it's the full screen. The reason it, it doesn't work is probably because it doesn't connect to the uh, WebGL. Um, as Emily said, yes, it's pure uh, web technology, so it runs on every device uh, which are modern and, and has these. And in a couple of years, it should be even <laughs> more places. Um, so, so that's essentially that. And, and one, one expansion of this, which several people who saw it also mentioned could be interesting, that is to use this approach for video editing um, because it gives a view of the, of the storyline of the thing all around you. So instead of just looking at, it, at a screen, you can just look around and you can see the entire timeline of the thing you are working with. Um, so that would be some of the interesting perspectives in that direction. Um, so I guess that's it. Any <laughs> That was exactly three minutes. Very well, <laughs> perfectly timed. So, does the jury have a question? I do have a question. I think it's not on anyway, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's for Alex. Ah, okay. um, I have a question um, because from what I've uh, what I've saw on the glasses, uh, you put the timeline around the main frame. Um, was it supposed to be in the whole 360, or d what was the decision to arrange it around the mainframe, or was it just a prototype? So what's the user interface um, decision? The thing with this, that was, that was just a prototype. So the way we structured it was to, to build, yeah, the intention was to make a 10 by 10, so you have 100, fr 100 frames through the entire storyline, and then you could do it like that. Um, the vision, what, what we would, li would like to have time to do but didn't get around to, was to have, not have them just behind the, the image but all around so you could look around and explore. Okay. But first when we put it somewhere else, uh, you had to look around to find it. So for the demo purposes, just viewing the movie and then seeing it coming around, it would be better for the demo. Okay. But for an actual ac application, it would make sense to use the entire space around you. Do we have another question? Okay, thank you very much.